The next step is that I'm going to use my African material and I've decided to cut out these spots as part of my pattern. So I see one, two, three, four. So I cut out my um, African material like this. My scissor. It's one, two spots, and here's a third spot, and then the fourth one. Okay, I'll put this material away. I can see I can maybe make it a little bit neater. One, two, three, four. Now I like the diamond shape. I put the four pieces of the material with my clear glue on here. One, two. and four and I wait for it to dry move it up a little bit and I wait for it to dry now I'm going to put the the material onto the two triangles so I use this pattern of African material and I'm going to cut out the diamonds because I've decided to use the diamond shapes on the triangles so I cut out one diamond shape of the material on the line of the diamond there's one for the one triangle and I'll cut out the other diamond shape other triangle out of my African patterned material okay now I cut it out like this and now I'm also going to glue it on so the next step is to glue this these two onto the triangles so first I glue this one on Put a little bit of glue on here and then I do it like this and the next one I put a little bit of glue on here clear glue and I leave it like this and here are my two triangles with the African patterns onto it the next step is that I'm going to first finish the last part of my diamond shape because I'm waiting for these to dry first before I work on them again the triangles so now after this is dried I put in the felt parts so I cut out I will see this is quite similar to cut the little holes in and it's thick like this it's a brown felt and I cut out I measure it to there. You can measure it any width that you like. And I cut out four pieces to decorate it a little bit more. And you always you can use your first cut out as a template. So it's two, three, and four. Okay, and now we can to look what it looks like, and then we can just glue it on. So I put my felt away. Now I'm going to glue these on. And let's see, one here, my 
for a clear blue. One spot there for the other one. So I add this on like this. This one like this. There you go. This one here. And this one here. So I just add these two on. And I see where the lines are on the top side. So I leave it like this to dry. Now I leave this one, the diamond, to dry. I'm going to complete my two triangles. What I need now is I need two buttons to put in the middle to give it a nice um, work of edge and that it looks nice and have more detail. So I put glue on and I glue my two buttons on like this. And the next step is I leave it to dry. Now I go back to my diamond and I get a big button as a focal point and I put it quite a lot of glue on so that it will stick well and I stick the big button in the middle of my diamond shape. That would be the focal point of my necklace. I add this a little bit like this and then I wait for it to dry. The next step will be that I decide to take a color like this. Um, so I've decided to take white because white are used quite a lot in body adornments. So these two I can put away to dry. So now I'm going to make my pattern. So I do a little triangle here. I do a little line there, I can do a little triangle there, some lines there and here, then I do a little triangle here, some lines there, some lines there, little triangle here, just be careful that your button doesn't move, a few lines there, here and there and then there's a triangle here and all around these little white dots like this one two three four five six seven and then just center your button again and see that it's nicely centered and you will see here here you've got your african the white patterns that they also use a lot on body um, dormants and in African art the white um, marks so I've used here the white oil pastel for that now I leave this one to dry clean it up a little bit there I leave it to dry and I leave the rest of these two ones also to dry and I've completed basically the emblems that I'm going to put as part of my body adornment and I wait for it to dry.